Uh, Senator McConaughey here today. We just uh, finished listening to the governor give the State of the Budget address. It was a very sobering speech. A lot of good information about uh, the direction that the governor wants to take the state of Illinois. Joining me today as one of my guests was Superintendent of District 3, uh, 303, uh, Superintendent Shulman. And I wanted to get some of your idea. What did you think about uh, the governor's message today? A lot about education. Yeah, there is certainly a lot about education. I think sobering is a good word. Uh, we all recognize that we're going to have to make some haircuts, if you will, in Illinois in order to get ourselves back on a fiscal course that's appropriate for this uh, state. So I think education is part of that. Uh, I, I clearly want to hear more because we, it was not a lot of detail today, but at the same time, what I've heard is uh, not something that was unexpected. Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, everything he talked about today has been consistent with what he campaigned on. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he made it very, very clear when he campaigned, look, at you elect me governor, I'm going to straight out the fiscal mess of this state, and it's going to be shared pain. We've heard that, that concept, shared pain. I guess my question for you is, and you're right, devil's in the details, and we haven't seen those details yet, but, you know, how much impact, um, you know, he's really talking about increasing right. the money that's going to go to primary education. Right. Um, you know, I, I think that's good news. Yeah, I, yeah it, clearly that's good news in regards to uh, public education education. 12 environment. Even if that gets uh, you know trimmed down and we're even and from where we were before, I think that's a, a win for public education in the long run. Because overall, we know that the budget's going to have to have some significant reductions in a lot of different areas. And the fact that we can keep public education at or above where it's currently at is going to be a real plus for us. Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel good about it. I think my constituency is going to do well right. uh, in terms of commitment to education. Right. Property tax was one of the, you know, always very important to any school district right. in the suburban areas. You know, I often talk about the fact that we have some of the highest property tax right. of any community in the entire country, and we're taxing people right out of our homes. Again, the governor didn't give a lot of detail about what he intends to do about property tax, but he gave some indication that it's a high priority. What do you, what do you make of that? Yeah, well, I, I think, you know, the state support of education, we're 50th. We all know that there were 50th. That really uh, translates into too much property taxes. So we have to be cognizant of the fact that we're starting to tax people out of their homes with, with what they are, our call on that. So we're going to have to work with the state, work with the governor to try to find a balance where we can try to lower or the ask on the property tax side and and but in order to do that we're going to have to balance that with some increases on the state side as well right oh there's no question about it in order to make the math work you're gonna to have right. to do something but you know I don't know about you but what I thought I heard him say today look at before we can go back to our taxpayers and and ask them to trust us with additional tax dollars let's show that we can be responsible with what we have uh, and that we can rein in our spending right. on non-essential items so uh, uh, you know I I view it as this is a long-term partnership uh, and not just us here in the state house but those of you who are are in the trenches in the field working at the local level to to provide basic services. Yeah, I, I think that w there's a couple other things that we heard as well that we also have to be cognizant and recognize that we're going to have to we're going to have to get pension reform done. I, what that looks like and how we can get that to be a constitutional effort, I think is uh, going to be a, a real big question. And the governor's made a proposal that we're going to have to take a look at. Hopefully, that's going to pass that constitu constitutional sniff test, if you will, and to try to make that work. As well, we're going to have to look at unfunded mandates. That's something the governor mentioned as well, and we're uh, in education. Is we really feel like over time we've added way too much uh, control at the state level that we're going to have to reel that back in. And I think the governor is on board with that as well. I really, uh, you get the sense today, I don't know about you, but I got the sense today that he's really committed for the long haul. He knows this is going to be difficult. He knows that there's going to be opposition. But I think what he's saying to those of us in the legislature, but also, you know, folks in your right. position, uh, we got to commit that we're going to work together. We're not always going to agree on everything, right. but we got to work together. Yeah, I, th I think that that's really clearly what we're going to uh, have to do. I think in the long run, it's going to be all about all of us in a shared pain kind of a environment, but also recognizing what our priorities are at. I agree. Look forward to sharing the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, right. you, Senator, Thank, very much. Thank you.